Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a house that actually looks good. Cause uh, today I found out that you guys might be struggling. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. What is this, a dirt house? That Emeralds on a tree? Okay. Yeah, uh, I had to drive all the way out there just to see this. Uh, so, today I figured out that you guys might need some help. So with that said, welcome to... Welcome to a brand new Minecraft video with your host, Wolfie, a.k.a. Steven, over here. Now, let's get out of here before I get a stinking migraine from all that. Oh, jeez. Uh. Now, the first step you gotta, you gotta do before you even start building, you need to set up a color palette. Now, I really struggled with this one, given that there were so many to choose from, and going with the theme of mo urban modern house, I didn't really know what to go for. I even built a mini enclosure before finally settling on it, it being a combo of some of the things I had strewn out here. But that's just the color palette. Then you gotta go on to build it. Now, first thing you gotta do is actually lay out the floor plan. First tip, don't start with a box. Do not start with just a simple box. You need some kind of smart-looking design. Because, in the end, if it's just a natural box, I mean, where's the interest in all of that? I mean, there, where's all the interesting bits and bobs that come out of the sides and, and all the cool accessories that come with it? So, I've opted for this L-looking design, along with a garage that will pretty much be a box anyways, so that way we can actually have something being built to make this house over the top, you know, because, well, I like to make my houses over the top. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> now, the next step you might be thinking, next step is to add the walls. Well, actually, you're wrong. To me, the first step is to actually start with the with the floors and ceilings, the excess ones, if you're going to have some. because And here's why. These floors and ceilings are what's going to pretty much determine what your house will look like come as with the exterior. That's pretty much a guaranteed. This I've went ahead and built up with because I needed to go ahead and get this pretty much already done because it's gonna be a massive garage and I'm gonna put a lot of stuff in there. So that's the one excuse I have for me botching, for me just throwing that out the window. All right, so the next step is to actually raise the walls. So yeah, raising the walls and adding the small detail, the bigger details that will pretty much m make it more, more like a house and a lot less like a giant box. Now, this is what I've pretty much, this is the kind of detail that you need that I s see the place, the builds I've seen in lack. You can add stuff like that, a balcony. Really, it's up to you. I used dark oak, didn't I? Oh, I'll fix that later. I. It's really up to you what kind of designs you want to add. 
just whatever can fill those empty gaps. But post-commentary tip. What is this? Like, who in their right mind builds like that? It would take so so little time, and it would look so much better if you did that. This, that's just a pet peeve of mine. I do just don't like that look. Just simply put stairs underneath, and it will look so much nicer. Right, with that small grievance out of the way, let's get on... Also, oh, and also, highlight how your roof is going to be. Highlight the small start starting points of your roof. It will help pretty much guide how your roof is going to be. Alright, on to the next. I haven't quite done much to this other than add an extra layer of wall to it. Right, on to the next step. Right, step four, the step I dreaded, the roof, because it takes so long and it's so tedious to do, but also, but also it's pretty much a building 101, you gotta put a roof on your house, otherwise it's... Now, you can go with any style you want with this, I mean, you can do a lot of different styles and a lot of different... A lot of just overall, you can go to town with the different kinds of roofs that you can use. Whether it's a, you can make a bell shape, you can make a hard triangle shape. Honestly, it's up to you. I just went with the standard A frame because I was on a time crunch making this. And also, I integrated the this flat top because I also wanted to demonstrate some of the city, a city roof as well. Because, well, this is a city house and I just didn't feel like you guys would really be, would really be done justice if we just simply, you know, kept, kept it on just this one one roof. You guys gotta have a little variety in how you build. Right, with that done, on to the next step. Alright, the final step, guys, <laughs> is probably the most fun of all of them, detailing. Now, detailing, <laughs> you gotta, I re really don't really have much to say other than, other than to think, really think what you can do. I've added any small details you can add, add them. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> like, seriously, don't overdo it. I put flowers around... I've put flowers around the build. I've also put this sign, this business sign, because it pretty much also doubles as a business, because it's so massive. I also have I've also added window windows and a false window over here which is made with shroom lights. I've made it night so you can actually see the shroom lights. I can that, there you go. You can see it better with the chat up. Now let's and I've also redone the balcony cuz because, well, why not? And I thought the beehive looked a little bit better for a floor. Okay, I guess I pretty much redid the thing. I've also added these vents, which loading it in kind of messed up. And these antennae, because of the the city theme in which this gar garage stand in which this garage goes by. And also this suburban house or apartment, or whatever you want to call it, has, has pretty much got... We also have these borderline bits here on the roof. On the... Not roof. Oh, I'm... I uh, can't speak today. It's so, so late night. These borders on the windows 
get giving it a little more contrast to all of this green that's here. Also, I did the same with the red flowers, because red pops a lot more. And that's pretty much all you can do, really. I mean, I've had parking lots, the sign, a garage, pretty much summarized, detail it in, in, met, in any way you can, but don't go too overboard with it, as I kind of have done in this small corner. Oof, I'm gonna have to fix that later. But yeah, that's pretty much, oops, uh, ignore that hole. That's pretty much it. Now, I don't, see, I don't recommend you guys copying me part per part, whatever build style fits you. Now, that's pretty much, that, I know that that's a lot to say in one video, but I'm, what can I say, it's, it's building in Minecraft and you're taking a, I'm just giving you a crash course, you can get a better detailed video from someplace else. So there you go guys, a crash course into building with yours truly, he, <laughs> the wolf himself. Now, and thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> and we... <laughs> I got something to say about a certain... Uh, three houses.